What's up, Samuel Nix? Welcome to a new vlog episode. And this week we're talking about like an endless, eternal question. Which part is more important, front end or back end? You know, there are like countless jokes on both sides actually. And we will explore first of all a bit about the general architecture of systems because I got a lot of questions about these things as well. And then also which part is more important because both of them have challenges. Um, usually you expect that the back end is harder, but we will try and get into this uh, question today. So let's dive into this. First of all, I get a lot of questions like how do I connect my database to my Ionic, Angular, whatever application like every week. The general thing you need to understand is for let's say like 80-90% of applications is that you have a front end which is an Ionic application, an iOS, Android, whatever application and at another place you have a backend. That backend is connected to a database and access the data from the database, writes to the database or performs a lot of other things and usually you connect through an API, uh, currently most of the time a REST API or a GraphQL uh, which is a bit more modern uh, uh, kind of API between these two services. They are completely different. So if you have whatever application on the one side, you can also have a completely different framework on the other side. This could, the backend could be, it could be a WordPress API, could be PHP, Java, a JavaScript, anything you could think of if it offers an API. And on the other hand, you have whatever, Flutter, Ionic, Angular, iOS, Java, Android, uh, anything you could think of. And because an API is defined uh, with a clear facade. Um, the uh, application always knows how to talk to this. And you could even have multiple applications talking to the API. So that's the general understanding of front end and back end. It becomes actually a bit more challenging if you talk to clients about front end and back end because in one of my projects I had like uh, a member area and also an admin area in the same application and the client's assumption was that the backend was like the admin area so you can get really confused but in terms of developers and technology front and backend you should understand how these work and the front end application usually isn't talking to something like a database or any kind of service which requires uh, like a secret key directly all these information that should be kept secret is usually inside the server you also see in some frameworks that basically everything is combined. If you use something like Meteor um, or in specific Java fields, Ruby on Rails, you have basically everything in one project. I usually don't really like that approach. I really like to separate my front end and back end, but I think that's a personal choice. I don't know if this is like the best practice currently. I think this really depends from project to project. Now, what is the purpose of a backend? Usually a backend is really like the core logic of your application. That means if you have like a web shop, um, the backend is holding the information of the products, the catalog, uh, you can trigger orders, the backend will trigger email sending, it will have the account information, authentication, um, like everything is included in your backend. And once again, the framework really doesn't matter. You can use Python, PHP, any kind of language you could think of on the backend side, as long as you can build a nice API with that, that your front end application can use in the end. On the other hand, you have the front end stuff. For the front end, uh, it's usually the things that the customer sees. Um, I found a few interesting images which we'll quickly take a look at, but usually your front end is like the application, the website, um, is there anything else? Well, just the thing the customer faces if he or she interacts with your application. And again, technology is really like the secondary choice. It's first of all a front end. It could be Angular, React, Flutter, uh, Java, JSP, anything you could think of. It really doesn't matter to the client in the end, as long as it looks good and it works nicely. So these things are front end and back end. If you heard about full stack, that usually means either of two things. First of all, a full stack developer, which I would kind of call myself because I can work on both the front end, I can work both the, the back end, uh, currently using Nest.js, which means I can use JavaScript on both front end and back end. Um, you could also use different technologies, for example, you're a native Swift developer and for the back end, 
um, perhaps you're a Firebase expert, then I would still call that a backend. If you are a full stack developer, you can basically work on both of these sites. Additionally, there are full stack frameworks or uh, ecosystems. Like I said, Meteor is one I looked at in the past. It basically combines a server and also holding and also holding your uh, front end code. So within one project, you would have all the backend logic as well as uh, the pages that are delivered to the client in the end. This was also very common in the past with sessions uh, in Java applications. I used this as well in enterprise context where you basically request a page from the server and the server generates the whole page with all the information filled in. I think that's the same for PHP and then sends this page back to the client. It just became a bit different with SPAs like Angular and React uh, since I would say like five six years maybe. So which of these parts is more important? That's really the interesting question here. The problem is, first of all, uh, it depends on the projects. There are a lot of projects where like the front end is just showing some information from the back end and the back end has all the logic and is doing all the hard work. In that case, um, perhaps the back end is a bit more important, but just think the front end wouldn't exist. What's the result? The, the client can't really use it. Nobody could use your application. The backend could be super great, has a super API and is just awesome in general. But if you have no front end, uh, how should anyone use your cool stuff? You need actually both things to build a great project. You need a great uh, working backend, which actually no one will see. And you still need the front end, which attracts the user, keeps them engaged, use gamification, looks great on all the devices, is responsible, compatibility on every device. So one really can't shine without the other. If you just have a cool front end and no data, no back end, no logic at all, well, that's just like, well, uh, that's some dummy to-do list application. That's not really a use uh, for anyone. Then we got the question, which one of these is actually harder to learn? In terms of languages, as I said, for example, if you use JavaScript, both are basically equally to learn. In general, it's just a bit different how you develop. On the front end, you got all the browser tools and you got a lot of visual testing, I would say. On the backend side, you usually rely on a lot of um, perhaps logs using tools like Postman, Insomnia for APIs, because the backend usually has no interface. But given the fact that the front end ecosystem is rising a lot and like there are countless frameworks that you need to understand, you need to understand about differences between different browsers, um, you have to build UI for a variety of screen sizes in usual if you want to make something responsible. Uh, you got different build tools and bundle tools and all of these things make front-end development lately really, really challenging as well. So it's not like the back-end is really the hard stuff and only experts can do the back-end and front-end is for, well, the, the hipster uh, developer who's just doing some CSS. No, I don't think that's the case anymore. I really think both are really challenging and you need to be an expert in one of these things to really be a great developer of either for front end or for back end. And the question, which one is harder to learn? I don't know. I think you can learn both if you want to. Uh, we've seen in one of the uh, developer survey videos about the Stack Overflow survey that there are countless jobs in both fields. I'm not sure if there was a difference in uh, the money you can earn, but I think they are by now mostly equal. Although there may be some freelancers that have a bit lower rate because they do some front end WordPress stuff. So uh, maybe the uh, back end salary is still a bit bigger. But in general, I think they are equally important. So they should get paid the equal amount of money. To wrap things up, there are like countless memes about different things. Backend developers in general are just nerds and don't know how to do front-end development and the company in general isn't even interested in backend at all because just the front-end is interesting. Same for the front-end stuff. The front-end is just about doing some shiny unicorn stuff and putting a bit of CSS here and there and that's all for the front-end. And while these casual jokes are funny, I think it's no good idea to have like a war between the different teams if you have different teams for backend and front-end in your company and you shouldn't joke too much about. It's maybe like Android versus Apple. I joke about this as well. I'm on the Apple side so the jokes are anyway on me but I don't really care about this at all. You shouldn't say that the other developer from a different team is doing a worse job and your job is more important. I think 
that's really a bad idea and leads to a toxic culture in your company. In general, it's really about teamwork. As I said, one can shine without the other, it is teamwork. If you can work together with the backend in a great way, like they define the API upfront before they actually develop, so you can already start on the front end. This is really an awesome process that I also enjoyed in the past in companies. And if this works, this is really amazing. But again, it's really about teamwork. It's about combining both of these elements to build something great because it's not about having the coolest backend or the coolest front end. It's about having the best application for the user, for the client, so that the whole company makes some income from the application that users enjoy and the user doesn't care about Angular, React, Vue or Java, Python, PHP. They want a great application and that should always be your goal. So try to have a good company culture. Um, there are differences between front end and back end, but both sides can learn from each other in my opinion. So I would really love to know what you think about front end or this back end. Do you think one of them is more important? Do you find one of these things more challenging? Have a great week of front end or back end coding. I really don't care, but I hope it will be a great week and clean code. So happy coding. Silence.